everyone, my name is Bettina, and welcome back to Bettina Plays Undertale Green. It's been a few days since I picked up this game, and now look at us, we're with Cody and Undyne in the ruins. Oh, this is interesting. So there's a ladder that uh, leads back into the mines, I guess, and the ruins are shut. And it looks like there's uh, some kind of passage in the trees, because there's a boulder in the way there. So we left with Undyne saying, Looks like we're out of the mines, Cody. Let's jump right in. Now we can finally go catch these bad guys that released the virus. This is so cool. It feels like we're on a mission. And it's cool because we're in Snowden as well. <laughs> Puns. There's just one thing that I really need to do before we start our investigation. I have to visit a friend that lives in Snowden. I wonder if it's anyone that we know. I need go through a longer path to do so. Uh, need to make a fix there, developer. But you can take this shortcut, Cody. Oh, you're gonna leave me? If you go straight across the woods, you can get to the clockwork facility way faster. I'll meet you there really soon, alright? Okay. Oh, I almost forgot. It's really cold out there in the woods. Make sure to wear something warm, okay? What do you think I have on me? I've got like a sweater and an apron. I mean, I don't have any other clothes with me, so what am I gonna do? Anyway, see you later. Phew. Oh, that was a cool little animation. I thought she was gonna suplex the boulder, but she's only a teenager, so I guess she doesn't really do it. So you can't, I can't go down the ladder anymore. Seems like a good place to practice knock-knock jokes. I wonder if Sans is anywhere in here. Okay. I can't get around this, so I have to go in here. Oh, what are these? Looks like someone has been stuck in the snow for a long time. Can I help them? No. It looks like rabbit ears that are just flopping. So that's weird. Okay. So here's my little save point. Kindness is seeing the best in others when they can't see it in themselves. Very nice. Now how is this possible that I've been playing 92 minutes? When I started this, it was only 72 minutes. Um, I'm gonna turn this a little lower for myself. There we go. Yeah, so don't, don't pay attention to the clock. I've only been pay playing two minutes of this game. The clock in this uh, fan game is really weird. So we won't worry about that. Oh, it's the lemon guy! Hey, are you gonna have me give me orange juice? Hello! Wanna check out my new shop? Grab some snow and here we go! I was trying to sell water here, but then it froze. Well, that makes sense. But it's okay, because I came up with this jingle about snow! And it rhymes this time! I think the jingle I had before was... Please don't bother and drink some water! <laughs> Yeah, it's not very good. Yeah, it didn't come out that great. Oh, I like the music. Very Christmassy. And the snow. Undertale should- Undertale proper should have little snow falling like that. It's a nice little touch. Anyway, do you want to buy something? Buy water for zero gold? I mean, water should be free, yeah. The water is stuck inside the glass, so you take the whole jar. Oh, is it okay that I have the whole jar? Do you have more water? Come back soon! Oh, okay. So he's got no more inventory. So all I have is my spaghetti and water. I guess it's ice, so that's why. Okay, so nowhere else to go. Oh, boo! It's a ghost! It's a cute ghost. Aha! Uh -huh. You should have seen your face! I scared you so much! <laughs> I can't wait to tell my friends about this! Oh. Oh, who am I kidding? I don't have friends. Oh, So cute. And I can't scare anyone. You scared me! You scared me! I can be your friend. Yeah! It's like, I mean, I, I do want to be your friend, but I wonder what the proper response is, because like, do I address the fact that he, the ghost scared me? 
Or that they don't have friends, but I'll be their friend. Meeny, meeny, miny, miny. Oh, um, I'll be your friend. You, you mean it? Yay! Thank you, that makes me so happy. Can you tell me your name? Cody, is it? I haven't seen a human in a very long time. You know what, Cody? There's a reason why I'm sad. No matter how hard I try, I can't scare anyone. The other ghosts are really mean to me because of it. Actually, there's only two other ghosts, Billy and Trevor. They are really scary, but I don't like talking about it. Let's talk about you, human! It looks like you're on a mission. What? The clockwork facility? Please, let me guide you there. I know every path of the woods. Follow me, friend! This way! Woo! What do you think of that voice? I, I didn't catch their name. I, I, I don't know if they actually said it. They, it was too fast. I didn't have a memory for it, but I really like this ghost character. Look, friend! It's a puzzle! The dark forest is filled with those. Do you think you can solve it? Oh, there it is. I wouldn't, uh, have the dialogue blocking the ghost. Or maybe there should be, like, a character face in the dialogue. Kind of like Undyne, unless the ghost isn't a very important character. But it's a good touch. Like, Cooper had a face in the dialogue, but yeah. Maybe this game is still in development, but just a tip. Okay, so, oh, it's a battle. Ice cream is screaming. That's a cute little thing. He's got a strawberry. Um, okay. Check him. So, a tasty piece of ice, fulfilling its life purpose of screaming. <laughs> Jacksepticeye would like this character. <laughs> uh oh. Uh. Oh. Okay. So, I can't defend myself in that, I have to dodge. Okay. Now. Do you like it if I lick you, or should I like it? I don't really like screaming, but um, I don't know if it matters. You told the ice cream that you liked the way he tastes. What? But you didn't lick me yet! Ah! Okay. Eh. Okay. That wasn't so bad. Okay, I'm gonna lick you first. You licked the ice cream! It tastes like... ice! Okay, so it doesn't have a flavor. Did you like the taste? Ah! <laughs> okay. Ah! Okay. I'm screaming now, because the screaming never ends! Okay. I like it. You told the ice cream that you liked the way he tastes! Oh my god! Ah! <laughs> the screaming never ends! Okay. Yes. Oh, whoa. Ah, uh, dang it. I'm gonna recover myself after this battle. Ice Cream is now screaming in a happy way. <laughs> nice, uh, that's a good time to spare. I got seven gold from that battle. Nice. Okay, excuse me, ghosty. I'll be right back. There we go, heal myself up. Yeah, don't believe that clock. Okay, I think, oh, okay. Okay. Hmm. Okay. So the ice... Hmm. I'm not sure how this puzzle works. Unless... Hmm. I think I'm getting it. Yes. I know what to do. Aha! Yes! I can't talk to the ghost. You. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I love this puzzle. I promise I won't give it away. Hmm. So it has to do with mirrors and lasers. How am I supposed to manipulate it? Oh, another battle. 
Snowboy is too young to be a man. Oh. So, how can we get clues from this? He lives by the life philosophy of some people are worth melting for. Oh, little Snowboy Olaf. I can't wait to grow up. Oh, you got time, kid. Ooh, snowflakes. Eh. That wasn't too bad. Snowboy is wondering about the man inside him. Ooh, maybe we can add snow or talk to him. I'm not sure. Let me talk to him. You tell the snow boy there's a man inside him. He doesn't seem too convinced. When I grow up, I want to be really big. And so you shall, because after this, I'm going to build you up and make you a big snowman. Okay. You grab some snow and put it on snow boy. He starts to feel grown up. You're gonna get big. Okay. That's this battle isn't very exciting, but what can you do? He's a snowman. Snowboy. Okay. Still needs some work. You grab some snow and put it on Snowboy. He starts to feel grown up. He's looking happier. I can't wait to grow up. Okay. I wonder if his attacks Snowboy now feels like a man. Okay. Woohoo! Six gold from that. Okay. I need to talk to you. Uh. Hmm. How am I supposed to manipulate these? I don't know what I'm supposed to do here. The lasers are supposed to go into here, aren't they? But I can't push the mirrors. Hmm. Hmm. I wonder if it's a... Some kind of thing. what I can do. There's no buttons to press or anything. <sighs> Think I'm stuck, guys. Can you help me at all? Okay, so I finally figured out how to make the mirrors move. I'm not sure why it wasn't working before, but apparently, if I'm looking down, then these mirrors switch. Oh, no. I gotta fight this guy again. I got out of the game to try and uh, figure it out, so I guess I gotta fight him again. But I know what to do now. Okay, now to really figure this out. Okay. No, we want it to go... wasn't so hard. Once they know what to do... Alright, progress! And that's what I told her. You can't tell me what to do. You're a woman! Jeez. You're the best, Billy. Women are dumb. Excuse me. What? You know what else is dumb, Trevor? <laughs> what, bro? Dogs. How dare you call dogs dumb? And women! <laughs> and squirrels. I mean, squirrels are a little dumb, but, like, not the concept of squirrels. Maybe squirrels themselves, they're a little dumb, but whatever. Bad joke. And boats. Now, boats are not dumb. I actually like boats. Yeah, boats are fine. Okay. I saw a boat today. In Snowden? That's great, bro. <laughs> well, now we don't have anything to talk about. So, how was your day? Pretty good, bro. I haven't seen Stitch all day, though. Stitch? As in Lilo and Stitch? Or is it the ghost? I'm pretty sure his name is Switch. Oh. No, I think it's Stitch. Uh, 
Hmm. Wanna go look for him? Sure. Let's beat him up. Okay. Hmm. Let's hope they don't find us. Well, what's your name? Is it Stitch or Switch? Or is it... Stitch? I don't know. Finally. Never look down on anybody unless you're helping them up. Oh, that's that's a good line. Don't look down on anybody unless you're helping them up. Which means you're not gonna look down on them for long. I was flying, but I got distracted. So I bumped my head into this tree, and it's really hurting me. I should probably put something cold on it. I wonder where I'm gonna find anything like that. There's cold stuff literally falling from the sky. Which I don't know how there's a sky, because it's underground. Just had to check something. Ooh, it's a slidey puzzle. This one is my personal favorite. I think it's a great tribute to the king. It is. All right, now how do... Oh, there was a monster inside the puzzle. Cloud is feeling the breeze. Cloudy, not so much. Ah, oh, so... The guy is Cloud and the girl is Cloudy. Okay, so this is my first fight with two people. Alright. Cloud, on his quest to teach Cloudy about the windy ways. Why can't you understand what I'm teaching you? I don't know, Dad. Alright. Not too hard. Cloud is feeling the breeze. Okay. What's your deal, Cloudy? A free-spirited cloud trying to learn from her father. Cute. Why can't you understand what I'm teaching you? Okay. It is up to me to help their father-daughter bond. Okay. So what can we do to you? Um, let's talk to you. You can tell Cloud to teach... You tell Cloud to teach Cloudy in a slower way. He nods in understandment. I don't think that's a word. I think you mean understanding, but whatever. Pay attention to my knee daughter. I'll show you. Okay. Probably just gonna have the same pattern again. Whew, that was close. Cloudy's head is in the clouds. Okay, well why are they in the clouds? You tell Cloudy to listen to her father, but she's not even listening to you. Okay. Pay attention to me, daughter says the same thing. Okay. So now we have to do some blowing. You show Cloud how to blow some wind, but he already knows. Okay, so I need to show Cloudy how to blow. Here's how you do it. You show Cloudy how to blow some wind. She is starting to understand. Yay! I think I'm starting to understand, Dad! Yay! Victory! Oops. Okay. Cloudy is now a master of the wind. Alright. Whoa. What, what happened to them? They look splat. But I got eight gold. And I don't have to bother with monsters. Okay. Press X to return, arrows to move, Z to switch, C to reset. Okay. Alright, so... Here I go. Um. Okay. Solves it. That took a while. But I am up to the test. Let me help you with this one, friend. This switch right here turns those lasers on and off. I'll be right here next to switch. Press Z if you want me to press it. Okay, so this is a timing thing, just like with Undyne. I'm glad uh, that since she abandoned me, I have you as a friend. Okay, so I can't do that. Oh, okay. So I'm gonna push it there, because that's the only place I can push it. Now switch it. Ooh. Another battle. Blind Ghost didn't see this coming. Well, that's interesting. Let's see. 
This ghost is either blind, or he really likes sunglasses. I wonder if he's faking. How do you feel about not having vision? I'm not the one with no vision, you do. You are. Heh. Oh, oh, okay. That's how it feels. It's like, I feel a little blind, but then it's like, ha ha. Reflexes like a cat. Okay. So, I wonder if he likes talking, smiling, singing, dancing. Let's just talk first. You told the blind ghost that vision is not everything. He seems to be flattered. If I can't see, so can't you. Okay. Ha. Ah. Ooh. Ooh. That is so lucky. I, I don't know how... I'm, I'm so good. <laughs> okay. So... Let us... Well, he can't see me smile or dance. Let's appeal to his ears, if he has any. You sang a song. The blind ghost seems to be enjoying it. If I can't see, okay. Hope he likes the singing. Okay. Ha. That, that's like interesting. Blind ghost is now looking at life differently. Nice. I knew that was the right choice. Okay. Thank you. Oh, it started at the beginning? Thanks. Okay. No. Nah. Okay. Okay, so now I'm gonna push it to that end, but then hit Z too, also. Yeah. Good. Good, good. Okay. Perfect! Thanks, ghosty! Switch? Whatever? Oh. Pretty fun. Ooh, it's a fisher guy. Be kind whenever possible. It is always possible. So always be kind. Alright. Hello. My dad used to take me ice fishing when I was little. What do you go fishing for, Mr. Fish? Now that he's away, I still do it every day. Oh, look. I'm catching something. It's a silver coin. Take it. You probably need it more than I do. You got a silver coin. Woo! Healing shop. This way. Oh, he's a sleeping dog. He's a chilly dog because he's in Snowden. The dog is tired. He probably had a rough day. Oh, he's adorable. Okay, so all my items. Probably with that silver coin. So just making sure. Yeah, I've got nothing left. Okay, uh, I've got 80, gee, nice. What, I mean, not much point in me getting uh, anything higher, because I don't need that much HP. It's just 20 HP for the kind soul that I am. Let's just get a few of those. That's my limit. So a couple of those, and I'm good. Yeah. I'm ready for anything, and I'm saving. Here's a bridge. Uh-oh. Oh no! It's the seal again! He's out of the mines! Sealy grabs your attention. No, I don't want to fight. Sealy only needs a ball and a river to have fun. Wait! I, I guess that's a squeak? I thought seals barked. Like, arr, arr! But I can't block them! There's too much! Huh. Sealy grabs your attention. Okay. Wait, did I do this already? Yes, I did. Ah, dang. Ah. Oh, okay. I can... I can dodge. Yeah. Ah. Okay. I'm gonna do something different. I'm going to... Compliment them? You tell Seely how great she is. Seely squeaks in confusion. Seely glad human likes. Wait. Oh, you're so cute. Ah, I can't block. Good thing I bought all that health. Now, where are you? Okay. I think I can survive though. Let me take a risk. 
Let us applaud. You start clapping your hands. Seely squeaks in confusion. Alright. Oh no. Ah, no! Oh, I'm gonna die! Help! Do anything! What's the point in this? Okay. Okay. Um, I'm gonna make a request of you. You ask Seely to do a trick with the ball. She throws the ball up and grabs it in the air. Yay, now you're doing something impressive. Sweet! Give Seely feedback. Ah! Oh, I'm gonna keep it in the air. Okay, I'm going to applaud you for your effort. You clap your hands with enthusiasm. Seely is having fun. Yep. Ah! I can't do anything with that. What is the point of that? I'm just hang out for there. Okay, still have stuff to do. Let me do a dance. You started dancing Macarena. Seely seems pretty bothered. Don't steal Seely's moment! Squeak! Oh, okay. Gotcha! So, I'm gonna ask you to do another trick then. Okay. One last trick. She swims to the bottom of the river and rockets back up, doing a mid-air backflip. Now that's impressive. No! Oh, okay. Okay, well, I managed to keep that ball in the air, so I'm gonna compliment you. You clap your hands like crazy! Celie's totally filled with happiness. Yay. Okay, please stay up. I don't have to lose any more health as it is. Alright, yes. Thank you. Oh, it was like by the skin of my teeth. Was really fun. Seely must repeat, human. Squeak. Squeak. See human again sometime. Well, that was different. We're almost out of the woods, friend. But there is still a bit more left to walk. Oh, I can't wait to show you what's next. I just know you're going to love it. Okay. Does the bridge get fixed? Meanwhile, in Snowden. Sans of Papyrus, yay! Sans, I can't find my tie. You don't wear a tie, bro. No, you don't. I could wear a tie if I knew where to find one. That's because your room is a mess. Why don't you tie it up? Sans, your room is a mess, not Papyrus's. Ugh. <laughs> That's a good pose, I like that. Sans, what have we agreed about the jokes? It's funny, that shows that he even jokes, makes puns and jokes, even without an audience. But we're the audience because he knows there's a fourth wall. Alright, bro. Why do you need a tie anyway? I have to look good for Asgore's party! I'll look so good that everyone will want to be my friend! Oh, still trying to make friends. Even the royal guard! Although I, the great papyrus, would never want to join the Royal Guard. What? I would be way better than everyone else. Good point. Then it wouldn't be fair. Oh, who's that? Oh my god! It's Undyne! Sans, how do I look? You look good, bro. I think you mean great, Sans. So good, it makes me want to be your friend. Good move, Sans. That's the answer I was looking for! I can't do it. I'm too nervous. Oh, come on, Pappy. I'll be the first to talk if you want. Yes, that's helpful. Let's do this. I love the dialogue. Hey. Hi, Sans. You look good, Pap. I mean, you don't have to be nervous. She. It's not like Undyne's the royal guard or anything. Have you tried wearing it with a tie? I told you I should be wearing a tie! So, Undyne, what have you been doing? 
Oh, I have so much to tell you. You're not gonna believe what happened. So, I've met this human. Let me stop you right there. You do realize he is a human, right? Yeah, so what? Do you have a problem with that? I don't, but Asgore might have. Okay, so this is a little interesting, like... Something must happen in this story, because in Undertale, the proper game, Undyne hates humans. So, she knows Sans and Papyrus. Something must happen, like, down the line to make her hate humans. I hope we Cody doesn't do anything bad, but oh well. Don't forget, he's trying to capture human souls. That's completely silly! Why would someone ever want to capture a human? Guys, there's nothing to worry about. We're solving a crime! Once we arrest the bad guy, my dad will finally love me! Okay. Asgore will fi probably thank Cody and me. Nothing could possibly go wrong. Well, you abandoned us, so... We're finally here! Underground's yearly circus! I decided not to tell you about it, to make you a surprise! Talented monsters from all around the underground come here every year! It's also full of games and attractions. I'm so excited. It's the opening night. Okay, friend, can I tell you a secret? This is the only place where I actually feel happy. I forget about all my problems in this place. It's like a world where Billy and Trevor never existed. Do you understand? Yeah. Anyway, it's going to be a great night. Let's go in. I'll show you around. Whee! Okay. Um, I wonder if I can go back? Uh, nope. There's no saving or healing there. Okay. Interesting. I can see a Ferris wheel in the background there. We're now inside the circus, friend! Look around! This place is full of fun games! Could you play them for me? I never got a chance. I never got a change to actually play. Did you mean chance? Because, you know, I'm a ghost. Feel free to try everything! The night is still young! Okay. Ooh, it's the snail game! Oh, I'm even getting fought over here? Yeknam is stuck upside down. That's monkey backwards. Smarty. Okay. This monkey doesn't remember how he got in this situation. You're just on your head. Oh, what does that say? I want to come down. Oh. Oh, I'm upside down. Oh, the switches are good. The controls are gonna be. Uh. 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 Okay, this is gonna be hard. Aw, oh, dang, that is unique. Okay. How can we get him down? Can we pull him up? You try to pull Yaknam, but he's still stuck. Wait, why am I upside down? Oh, I know. Okay, just have to think in opposites. Ah! Dang. Okay, um, I should heal myself. That's a good plan. Okay, I'm getting I'm getting the hang of this upside down controls. Let's try and tickle you. You tickle the monkey in his belly. Yaknam is now 50% loose. Nice. Okay. Ah. Okay. He really wants to come down. Let's tickle him again. Tickle him in his arms. He is now 100% loose. Uh, he's still upside down? Okay. Yay, you pulled the monkey. He is now back on his feet. I want to come down. I mean, you're already good. So close. Yes. We are good. Why does he look sad? 
I need to heal, Ghosty. I don't know what to do. That's Thunder Snail, a very popular game amongst ghosts. You need to encourage your snail by pressing Z or Enter. The most you encourage it, the faster it goes. Probably need to fix that word too. I like the balloons here. That's cute. If your snail reaches finish, you win. Simple, right? Try it out. The race starts in three, two, one. I'm not even doing anything. Other snail won. Oh, so I'm the red snail. Okay. At least this is free to play. Do you want to give it another try? Race starts in three, two, one. I won! Yay! 35 gold! That's a nice prize! Let's try the other one now. You have to press uh, Z a lot. I wonder if I can win 35 more G and hack the, hack the system. Yeah. Okay, I don't get any more G. The three cups game. Start. Okay, it's on the left. I think it's in the second. You got a completely useless ball. You can now sell it at a healing shop. Good job. Follow me. There are more fun things to see. I won. I have good eyes. Nothing there. Bug monster. Hey you! Another visitor! Oh, you wanted to buy cotton candy and popcorn? I'm sorry, this isn't for sale. Some people actually get confused and think I am selling food. But I just like to grab something to eat and stand around here all night. This is what gives me happiness in life. Hey, whatever floats your boat, guy. Standing here, on this exact spot. Okay. Okay, he says the same thing. Sorry about that. We've got a long dialogue. It's a monologue, really. Okay. Anything over here? Oh no, another battle! Simon says it's time to play a game. Okay, just let me heal first, Simon. Yeah, all the way up. Simon says, you'll play the game! Oh. Oh, dang. Yeah, it's that kind of Simon! Nice, I can do this, my memory's good. So what is your thing? This monster is the original creator of the games, Simon says. Alright, Simon says, you'll play the game. You need to win three times. Okay. You tell Simon you want to play. Simon says something nice about you. Cool. Simon says you smell like beef. I like beef. Okay. I smell like beef. I don't know it, but I know Jacksepticeye knows the vine. Okay. That's adding two. Woo! You won the game! Seven gold. Okay, so I just want to see... Oh, oh, I think I came too early. And then she looks at me and asks, Billy, can you let me drive your car? <laughs> As if. Bro. What, Trevor? You're great. You're great too! You should run for president of the circus. And you should run for president of this town. You should run for king. You can't run for king. I know, I can't. I'm not that great. I was saying you can. No, I mean, you can't. It's impossible, because there's a King Asgore. I'm pretty sure it's possible. I don't think so, bro. Hmm. I saw a great joke today. Tell me, bro. I... I don't quite remember. Don't you hate that when that happens? 
That's too bad, bro. <sighs> Wanna go find Snitch? Sure, let's beat him up. Oh, I can't believe it! Billy and Trevor are here! That's not supposed to happen! This is the only place where I'm happy! The only place where I'm free! Everything is going wrong this night! Oh no, he disappeared! Where'd you go? I just- I'm guessing that this is another- another healing shop or something? Oh, more games! Okay, I'm gonna see what these games are like, and then I'm gonna continue the story. This looks like a DDR! Seems like this ghost is exhausted from dancing. Seems like she is carefully planning her next move. I think you mean planning? And it looks like a claw game. So that's pretty cool. Do you want to play for one gold? Okay, slots. It's probably a slot machine. And okay, that's nothing. You lost! Okay, one more. Okay, probably rigged. Do you want to play Fortress Climb? Yeah! <gasps> Ooh, Fortress Climb. Oh no, that's a nice mini game. Hmm. Oh, that's hard. How am I supposed to get up? Hmm. Can't reach up high enough. I don't want to say impossible. Oh, I was so close. It is possible. <gasps> oh, nice. Okay. What do those do? Those are spikes, I'm pretty sure. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna exit. This, this game is too hard for me. Okay. On to the rest of the game! This is good. I can save. Oh, kindness is spreading sunshine into other people's lives, regardless of the weather. I like the sound of that. A conveniently placed soda vending machine. Hmm. Oh, yeah, because we were hiding it behind it or something. There you are, ghosty! My friends told me to ride the roller coaster. It'll be fun, they said. It wasn't. It definitely wasn't. Oh, poor baby. Where is the roller coaster? I like roller coasters. I mean, I was on one in the mine. I'm right here next to the switch. You know what to do if you need me to press it. Okay. Oh, great. This laptop shoots lasers. It's some pretty impressive technology. Okay. Programmed to only ask the most relevant questions. Give me your answers to the newest quiz. Uh. Oh. 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 Nice. I know what to do. Laptop wants to know how you eat your breakfast. Um, hmm. Cereal first. I don't drink milk. That's the right answer! Okay. Okay. How you like your pizza? Without pineapple? But this is up for debate. I mean, I've tried pineapple on pizza, and I get where people are coming from. It's not disgusting. But I don't like having fruit with pizza. It's just, like, not healthy. It's not that I don't like the taste. It's just goes against my principles. You're choosing everything right! Okay, so according to the laptop, pineapple off of the pizza is the right choice. Okay. So tense. Okay. Is there one more question? Wants to know your opinion on Undertale Green. 
Oh yeah, I like it. Thank you for the feedback. That's the end. Okay. I like how the lasers are rhythm. The quiz was successfully completed. Oh, but why is it cracked? You earned five gold. Okay. Hmm. Okay, I need to do that again. Hmm. Hmm. Goodness. Hmm. Hmm. Can't do that. So I can't move when that happens. There we go. I think I got this. I'll, I'll let you guys know when I'm done with this. can do it again. Yes! Alright. Oh, how much longer is this? This is my favorite attraction of all time, friend. Would you like to try it out with me? Is it the roller coaster? You know I like roller coasters. Oh, it's a boat ride. Okay. Okay, it's another thing like with Undyne. Here we are, friend. My favorite place in the world. It's so quiet and peaceful. It gives me time to think a lot about everything. Can I confess something to you? I still don't think I know your name. I'm tired, Cody. I really am. If you didn't appear today, I probably... Well, you can't really kill yourself if you're a ghost, right? So I don't see what you could do. I don't know what I would have done with my life. Probably just keeping, keep living or unliving it. I'm different from the other ghosts. Yes, I am. I'm not scary. I don't have friends. I'm your friend. Billy and Trevor keep saying mean things about me all the time. And you know what? They're right. I'm a loser. I'll always be. They're wrong. You're great at doing other things. Yeah, they're wrong. I really wanted to believe that. But when someone says a lot of mean things about you during your entire life, or death, you actually start to believe those things. That's why it's important to be kind. You should confront them. I mean, there's no other option. You think I should do that? I can't! I never confronted anyone before! What if they beat me up? They'll just go through you, right? I'll help you. I have a plan. Even if I don't have a plan, I'll certainly help. You're serious? You think it's going to work? Thank you for being so kind to me. But I know that they're what they're capable of doing. It really scares me, and it should scare you too. Well. Okay. In a world where you can be anything, be kind. I like that. Ah, this game is taking a while, but I'm gonna finish this chapter. Healing shop. Yay. Ooh, nice. Oh, look! It's a paparazzi! Aw. Oh. Okay, 
I thought something different would happen if I looked at the camera, but... I'll get 30G for my stuff. Okay, got 98G. That's because of the 35G that I want on the snail game. Okay, get that. Alright, I'm full up. Doesn't matter. Thank you! Okay. Hello. Ooh, it's a show. Oh, look who finally decided to show up. <laughs> but, Billy. What, bro? I've been here the whole time. I was talking about Snitch. Snitch? Where? Right there. Oh. Oh, look, bro. Snitch is right there. Uh, I was just saying that. Look, he has a friend. That's impossible. Snitch has no friends. Hey, stupid loser. How much did you pay him to be with you? Ghosts have money. Maybe the human is scared of him. <laughs> You're going to stay there in complete silence. Say something, freak. Uh, say it! I... You know what, Trevor? What, bro? We have so much fun beating up Snitch. How much fun will it be beating up the two of them? The audience is waiting. The stage is set. Notice that there are no monsters in the audience. Bro, wait. What? I just remembered that joke. I... What, what are you talking about? The joke I couldn't remember before. Can I tell you the joke? We're right in the middle of something here. All right, hurry up. Why are skeletons so calm? Why? Because nothing gets under their skin! Ah! That's a terrible joke. I find it pretty funny. Can we please go on? Sure, bro. Anyway. The audience is waiting. The stage is set. Snitch. Human that never told me his name. Prepare to be part of the best circus show of your lives. Not only will it be the best show of your lives. I think that's what it be. Oh, it's gonna be the show of your death. It will also be your last one. Billy and Trevor are about to beat you up. I'm not scared of ghosts. I ain't afraid of no ghost. Billy. Oh, they've got attack of 999. The older brother ready to beat you up. Trevor! Yeah, bro? It's time to finally use our special attack. Really? But wait a second. What? What? What what? You told me to wait a second. When did I say that? It was literally five seconds ago. I don't think I told you to wait a second. You do realize you're making us waste time, right? I'm sorry, you were saying? Our special attack. Oh, that's a great idea. Why don't we use it? You're so dumb. I was about to use it. Could you start paying attention? I am paying attention. Use it now, bro. Okay, you might need to make the words float a little more in the bubbles, but I understand. Oh no, Billy and Trevor are using the special attack. Okay, orange means I have to move, right? They used that on me a couple of times. Do you see that heart meter over there? No matter what happens, you can't let that meter get full. If you let it fill all the way up, your soul will catch on fire. And you'll start losing HP. Oh no. That bar will start to fill in it. Fill in if you're standing still. So just keep moving. Do you hear me, friend? Whatever you do, don't stop moving. Trevor's thinking about how much his brother means to him. Okay, check you out. Also, has a long list of jokes that his brother never lets him tell. For good reason. Help me out with this. Help me out with this attack, Trevor. On it, bro. Ah. Got it. 
Billy is coming up with new ways to bully Snitch. Do we talk? You politely ask the ghost to stop bullying you. Snitch is only 10% convinced about speaking up to them. It's bullet hell time, bro. If you say so, Billy. Oh no. Ah, that's... Uh, that's not so bad. Stitch... Snitch is still afraid to speak up. You make the same request for the second time. Snitch's level of willing raised to 20%. You're going to love this attack, human. I absolutely love it myself. Ah! Okay. He's thinking how much his brother needs him. I think it's a better idea to talk to Trevor. Tell the ghost that he's hurting you. Snitch is 30% convinced about saying what he thinks. I hope you don't have claustrophobia. That's gotta be a made up word. It's not. Oh no. Uh. Okay, I have to keep moving. Snitch is still afraid. Gotta heal up. Let's bring it up. You're too quiet, Snitch. Is there something you'd like to share with the rest of the class? Snitch is still afraid. Let's just keep talking. You tell the ghost that you're not afraid to say what's in your mind. Snitch is 40% convinced. I personally hate this attack. It bugs me the way it never hits the corner. Oh, I know what this is. Ah! Cool. Coming up with new ways to bully Snitch. You talk back once again, and Snitch looks at you. Willing is now at 50%. Do you want to do you want to another trip to claustrophobia land? It's a one-way ticket. Cool. I'm gonna talk to you. You keep saying what you think. 60%. We just have to keep going. This is the only attack we have left. That's not good, bro. Ah. Too bad. What if I spare them? Ugh, Trevor. We ran out of attacks. Why don't you use some repeated ones? Sometimes you have great ideas, bro. Ah. Okay. I have to keep talking. You realize you're running out of things to say. Despite of your troubles, Snitch is now 70% convinced. Just gotta keep moving. Oh, no, I already did that thing. No. Gotta heal. Why am I letting myself get hurt? Talk. Start repeating things you already said. Just gotta get to 100%. Just keep moving, just keep moving. 90%. Seems like Snitch is almost ready to talk. Just one more. There you go. Snitch finally makes up his mind and decides to talk back to Billy and Trevor. What did you say? I said, I'll talk! Ooh, someone seems angry. What's the matter? You didn't like our little show? Listen up! I'm tired of having to deal with you! Who do you think you're talking to, stupid loser? No, you are a stupid loser, Billy! You make the others suffer for fun! I swear, if you keep- Shut up! I'm talking! There you go! You are the one who doesn't have friends! At least not any real ones. But I mean, he's got Trevor. And you know what, Billy? You don't scare me anymore. I'm done talking to you. Wow. I preferred when you didn't talk. When you didn't speak. Friend, that was awesome. I can't thank you enough. I'm finally feeling better about myself. I'm so glad we became friends. Thank you for everything.
Cody. Okay. Whew. Still on this, huh? Kind of regretting not taking a break, but let's keep on going. Boo! Oh, God. <laughs> it worked, didn't it? I can't believe I scared someone. You should have seen your face. Huh. I can't believe you have to leave so soon. We had a great time together, didn't we? But I understand. You are on a mission. Your other friend is counting on you. Yes, I know about Undyne. She's pretty popular, you know. I hope you two find what you're looking for. Here, take this device. It's used for communication. You can talk to me anytime you want. I had it since I was little, hoping someday I'd give it to a friend. Now I finally have a friend! Anyway, the entrance to the clockwork facility is right up there. And, Cody, please look out for Undyne. She's young and she doesn't know a lot of what she's doing. If the king finds out that she's friends with a human, well, things might go a bit wrong. Hmm. Anyway, let's hope for the best, friend. Okay. Ooh, it's her father. Dad, there's something I want to tell you. I... I met a friend today. I thought that nonsense of making random friends was over. Wow, he looks badass. Don't you think it's time to grow up? Making random friends isn't weird. No, Dad, you don't understand. It's different this time. I know this will make you proud. We're going to investigate the clockwork facility. We're going to catch the bad guy that released the virus. You are going to do what? Don't worry, Dad. Cody will help me. He's a very nice human. A human? You just had to. Did you know we have to live here because of those freaky humans? They ruined everyone's lives. They need to be catched and killed. God. But Dad, if only you- I forbid you from ever seeing him again. Do you understand? This is the Little Mermaid all over again. And stop with that investigation nonsense. Am I making myself clear? D that's not fair. You only say that to me because- Because you don't have any friends. Oh. No. Let this serve you as a lesson. You don't hit your daughter, man. Never, ever talk back to me. Okay. To be continued in chapter three. Wow. Dang. Alright. Well, that was it. That was chapter one and chapter two of Undertale Green. I'm really looking forward to more of this. So, only a few people worked on this. Murky! Murky's part of my Discord server! Nice! They worked on the spriting. I'd like to know what Murky worked on. Like, was it Undyne's face? Or, the, like, all the dialogue monsters' face? And thank you for playing. Aww. This is a really nice fan game. <laughs> well, thank you for... For making this great game, guys. Um, uh, yeah, that's that's all there is. That just hangs out there. But yeah, that seems to be it. And you guys have just seen me play Undertale Green. So until I find another game to play, I hope you guys have a great day, a great night, whenever you happen to be watching this. Stay determined until next time. Don't forget to subscribe and comment and like and hit all the buttons and the bell to be notified. Hope you guys stay determined. Latina out.